Hey everyone, today I am back and I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into how I study. Um, so I typically put up pretty like comp like general videos on how to study and some of you requested that I tell you or do videos on how I study for specific courses. So the first one I chose because I think I did a good job and it was recent enough that I feel like I can talk about it um, was renal. Um, fall semester I past renal, more than past renal, but um, that was the goal. Notoriously, okay, we take, I'm a pharmacy student, if you didn't know that, and our curriculum has us take renal fluid and electrolyte balances, uh, our P3 year, and it's notoriously hard, <laughs> and so I knew this since P1 year, and I remember on my rotation, my IPPE during P1 year being like, does anyone have any advice? to give me for renal class and they were like mm, no not really um but I have a pearl of advice I think that you could start working on as a P1 um but anyways this class is notoriously hard I'm really proud of myself for first of all passing and like doing well and I really I think because I knew it was going to be hard that's why I focused on it so much and really like um put a lot of effort into it from the beginning so yeah if you are a P1 or you're um, before, prior to taking renal and you have some extra time and you just feel like expanding your knowledge, I think something that would um, maybe simplify your life a little bit more would be like just learning the lab values of electrolytes and just committing those to memory right away. Granted, um, there's always different ranges depending on which textbook or which instructor you're talking to, um, but it doesn't vary too much so I would probably commit like you know sodium potassium chloride magnesium calcium commit all of those electrolyte levels like normal levels to memory that way you don't really have to like study those and take up part of your study time when you're trying to grasp concepts like hypotonic hyponatremia or whatever so that's my pearl of advice to p3 and under I guess if you haven't taken the course yet but, um, so how I studied for renal, we had, um, I think four main tests and the last one was cumulative. So, wowzers. I started right away, um, just kind of like rewriting my notes. So I know how I learn best and that is by rewriting notes. And I don't always do this because it is very time consuming, but renal was something that I knew would be difficult for me and that I needed to be on top of. So in order to like be rewriting your notes, uh, you need to like start doing that early like this isn't something you do the night before the test So I definitely started early, you know for a while. I would I was on a, a nice schedule where I would um, like right after class just kind of like Make my study guide section for what I had just learned in class um, That way it was you know writing it down by piecemeal not spending like eight hours making a study guide um the main thing with this is that when I rewrite things, it, it helps me because, you know, I'm it's another look at the information and committing it to memory by writing, but I really utilize my study guides to, like, condense the information in a way that I understand it better or can, like, see it better and make sense of it. Um, so that's what I did. On that note, I also, let me see if I can find something. So I have all this writing, right? So it can get kind of like lost, lost in their important values. But like I said, when I have to remember uh, lab values or like fluid requirements or formulas, I would highlight those in yellow so that like, you know, you're studying before the test and you're trying to get the concepts down. But like right before the test, you kind of like to like just look at, glance at those um, like really simple memory things. So, you know, I would be able to find... Um, potassium values straight away if I was just glancing through so that was like kind of a key I tried not to I mean in class I like highlight what I think is important and then my study guides I condense that down even further like what is actually super important like the super basics super um so yeah that's what I did towards the end of the semester I um started starting with a classmate and this helps for some courses not all but um this is information that we just like really had to commit to memory and so we would just like talk it out like what happened 
to like hyponatremia, I would just tell her all about hyponatremia. Like what are the lab values? What are the signs and symptoms? What's the onset? And then maybe we get to hypernatremia and she recites that off to me and we just go through it and through it and through it. Um, so there's definitely room probably in every course for like individual and group study, but if you're going to do group study, I'd really recommend trying to get it down first by yourself so that you're not learning as you're talking to other people. Um, that's really it. These videos don't need to be drawn out. So that's how I started for renal. I'll probably get some shots in um, of these actual study guides so you can look at them a little bit more. If you have any questions about the course, let me know. Um, it was difficult, and but it was super rewarding and um, I guess it's an area of pharmacy and medicine that I didn't recognize was so important before I took it. Like, electrolytes are everything, right? Electrolytes are bay. I can't believe I just said that. Okay, I should go. Um, yeah, leave me comments below and you can follow me on the Twitter. I'm in a weird mood today, like every day. Anyways, I'm gonna go. So leave comments below and I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.